And we begin tonight at 6 with a mayor in trouble. Good evening. I'm Mark Allen. Good evening. I'm Katie Houston. That mayor is in charge of a village in Preble County that hired his daughter. Pam Elliott is live on assignment looking for the mayor and finding more about the charges against him. This is a copy now of the indictment our partners at the Register Herald provided. The charge is unlawful interest in a public contract. Now, I look for Mary Gary Vest, starting with his home in Grass. With no one home, we checked the village offices looking for Mayor Gary Vest. No one answered any of the doors, though cars were parked out back. We did find a person who has been before the council asking questions. When we told her that Mayor Vest had been indicted in connection with the hiring of his daughter as temporary utility clerk, she was not surprised. No, I'm not surprised. I'm just glad that, you know, the state of Ohio takes the law into consideration whether you're a village like ours, you know, 600 residents, or if you're a city. Heather Troth wonders why the temporary job was never posted. The former mayor of Gratis, Randy Kemper, told me the council had to act in a hurry. Work was piling up. This controversy follows an auditor's report that indicated there were missing funds in Gratis. What gets me is there was $62,000 supposedly missing. Not a state auditor said this, not me again. State auditor said $62,000 missing. Nobody even talks about that. That's more swept under the carpet or something. But yet, over a piddly little $9 an hour job, less than 30 hours a week, these people got the whole damn town in an uproar. The indictment indicates Vest used his position to secure a public contract that benefited his family. Kemper believes Vest is an upstanding citizen, and the indictment floors him. Julie said she'd take the job. Council hired her. Mr. Vest and Mrs. Vest both abstained from voting. They did not vote. There was an open vote? It was an open vote by the council. Council hired her. Well, at this point, and you know, anybody in Gratis will tell you, there's a lot of problems in Gratis. Um, hopefully, though, this is going to be the closure of it. Hopefully, you know, we can take care of the problems and move forward. Well, since 5 o'clock, I found out for you that the Attorney General's office is providing a special prosecutor in this case. Vest is to be arraigned on Friday. Pam Elliott, 2 News on Assignment.